Hey everyone, Shabim here and welcome back to the next episode of our 205 Live Universe Mode. A big one here this evening, we're going to be determining who will be main eventing our uh, Shabby, Shabby, Red, oh God, Shabby Mania pay-per-view in a few episodes time for the Cruiserweight Championship in a 30-man Royal Rumble. change the arena because the game does not allow you to have a rumble matches in other types of arena which is so annoying i don't know why it's like that like you can't use this match type anywhere else apart from this arena it's the same with elimination chamber you can't have elimination chamber on raw you've got to have it at the elimination chamber which is crazy because the very first elimination chamber took place at survivor series i believe but there you go anyway this is a 30 man over the top rope royal rumble match the winner of this royal rumble match will face off uh against neville um, on paper, because we don't know necessarily. Of course, we do have a, a Mr. Money in the Bank now in Kyle O'Reilly as crowned last episode, so whoever Kyle cashed it in beforehand. But at the moment, it would be against Neville at Shabby Mania. Be interested to see who gets the number one and the number two then, who's going to have to go the whole way. And as we go further on, who is going to get the last few numbers who's been most likely to win? It's a shock the system, so it is a member of the Undisputed Era starting things off for us at number one. It is going to be... It's Bobby Fish at number one. And joining Bobby Fish to start this match is going to be Drew Gulak. This is going to be quite a technical start to this Rumble match. Here we go then, the first two men are in, Bobby Fish and Drew Gulak. These are the two guys that need to do the most work if they... Wow! Wow, that was... That was super quick. Gulak just pulls the top rope down and Fish goes flying over the top. And Bobby Fish just went too much all guns blazing to start this match and Drew Gulak punishes him for it and Drew Gulak... Has now got a nice few seconds to relax before the next... That, that's amazing. I don't think I've seen anyone get that sort of quick, cheeky elimination in a long time. Or especially not this early into a match. Number three. Oh my god, it's it's going to be one of our legends in this rumble. Going to throw a few legends in there just for a bit of fun. It is going to be Ultimo Dragon. Seen Ultimo Dragon live, of course, you know. Because I'm cool like that. Um, yeah, a chance for Ultima Dragon to show what he can do. Of course, he's an older man now. He's in his 50s, I believe. But um, still great cruiserweight ability. One of the original cruiserweights that really showcased. Oh, Gulak's done it again! <laughs> Drew Gulak has just eliminated Ultimo Dragon in the same way he eliminated Bobby Fish. Drew Gulak, man. Take a bow. As in comes one half of our tag team champions at number four. It is Kofi Kingston. He would love to become, well, tag team champion as well as get an opportunity to main event Shabby Mania for the Cruiserweight Championship as well. Went for the close on there, Gulak, and uh, Kofi avoided it. Gulak there with the boot in the gut, and Gulak is, looks like he's going to have to fight against two people in the ring now because he's not been able to get rid of Kofi Kingston that quick. Not as quick as he got rid of the other two. As in comes number five, it is going to be Tyler Bates. Which is uh, interesting because uh, one of the tag teams that are probably looking to try and get those belts away from the New Day. Now I'm going to announce now that next episode we will do um, some tag team qualifier matches. So we're going to have one each episode for the next three episodes. The winners of those tag team qualifier matches will go on to Shabby Mania to face off against the New Day 
in a fatal four-way tag team ladder match. As there goes Tyler Bate eliminated by Kofi Kingston. And in comes at number six, Rey Mysterio. Wow, we've had a lot of eliminations so far already. I'm surprised by how quick these people are dropping, you know. Ray now Harukarana on uh, Kofi Kingston. Yeah, so next episode we'll start with these tag team qualifier matches. Like I said, the winning three teams of the next three episodes will join the New Day at Shabby Mania for the uh, Fatal 4-Way tag team ladder match, which should be interesting. As in at number seven comes Jushin Thunder Liger. Another classic wrestler. And I think a couple of these legends here and there might have proper matches at Shami Mania. You know, we like to have a couple of legends here and there, but um, nothing major. Uh, and I thought just a nice little way of showcasing the couple in this Rumble. You've got to have a couple of surprise entrants in the Rumble, haven't you? And fairness, we've seen two of them. I don't think there's many more, to be honest, but we've seen two of them already. Ray now, I thought it was going to go 619, but no, dropping his body weight across the back of the neck of Gulak. As in at number eight comes TJ Perkins, the original Cruiserweight champion and the winner of the original Cruiserweight Classic. He would love to get himself back in the main event picture. Pretty much a shame that he's not really in that main event picture, to be honest with you, as Drew Gulak gets another elimination. Wow, Drew Gulak's got three eliminations now, this time eliminating one half of the tag team champions, Kofi Kingston. I mean, I'm a big fan of Drew Gulak, and I have given him a lot of opportunities, but at the same time, I may have over pushed him as well but I feel like he just deserves something else again now I don't know what though that's the problem I mean of course there will be a junior heavyweight championship match um... so it'd be interesting to see uh... although I do plan on actually defending the junior heavyweight championship match next uh, junior heavyweight light heavyweight championship next episode actually so um I'm not quite sure. I might just do another open challenge for Tazawa, to be honest. This will be going pretty well at the moment. So that'd be interesting if Cash that in. Uh, Cedric Alexander now with Jushin Liger up on the top rope. As in comes number 10, it is Roderick Strong. He might go after Gulak. After Gulak eliminating one half of his... Uh, well, one third, one quarter of his stable. That's the word. Now, um, Kyle O'Reilly will not be in this match because he's already missed the money in the bank, so I felt it wasn't right to give him another... Well, they're wrong, he deserves another opportunity, don't get me wrong, but I don't really want him to have the more contendership twice. It would have been a bit crazy, so I've decided not to allow him in. As Liger trying to eliminate Gulak, and Liger does eliminate Gulak over the top. Shame for Gulak because he was doing so, so well. As in comes Tyler Breeze, someone who knows Liger pretty well. Of course, wrestled him in an NXT TakeOver a few years back. As oh, Ray went to go for for, um, for Roderick Strong, and Roddy ducked it, and Ray goes flying over the top. Cedric now looking to eliminate TJP. And TJP does go as Strong and Cedric working together to get the elimination as the countdown starts once again. As we await the next entrant into this rumble. We're down to four in the ring. Of course, the game does allow eight at a time. Number 12 is going to be Chad Gable. Right, someone who I did put in this roster, but I don't think he's actually had a match yet, is Chad Gable. He does count as under 205 pounds. Very different style, so... Okay. Interesting. Left side of Breeze. Um, so, yeah, there's it's, it's a nice little um, difference to have someone like Chad Gable in here. Jushin Liger now with the back of the head of Roderick Strong and Strong fighting back with the elbows. I'm not quite sure now. I'm thinking with Gulak, maybe just give him one of the legends at Mania. At Mania, a shabby takeover even. Like, I do have one in mind that I think he'd be quite good for. I'll have to think about that. Jushin Liger and Cedric Alexander working together. They've got Chad Gable... Chad Gable goes. No, Chad Gable holds on and Chad Gable slides back. No, he doesn't slide back under. He does able to He does able to fight free. He is able to fight free as Tyler Breeze and drops Roderick Strong as well. As in comes number 13 and lucky for some, it is Mr. Mike Kanellis. 
Of course, made his debut in the previous episode and uh, got a strong victory against Leo Rush, proving himself. So this is his chance to continue proving himself. I'm not quite sure at this point if it's still too early to consider winning the Rumble, but stranger things have happened. It, it's possible for him to win the Rumble from here, so why not? Two, four, six. We've got six in the room. We've got space for two more. In comes one of those two. Now it is going to be at number 14. Leah Rush also made his debut in the previous episode. Uh, like I said earlier on, in the losing side of the match to Mike Kanellis. Uh, but hopefully we'll see the best from Leah Rush. It's a bit disappointing now that we've got people like Leah Rush and Mike Kanellis being available now that this universe mode is sort of drawing towards an end because both of them look really cool, actually. Maybe I might have to give them a bit more of a push towards the end of this universe mode. So maybe give Rush and Kanellis something to do moving into the final part of the universe mode. But then again, if they win this match, then they'll push themselves into something to do. Who knows? As we continue counting down, 4-3. This will be number 8 in the ring. So this will be the last elimination, the last entrant for now for quite some time. It's going to be Pete Dunne. Pete Dunne gets entered at number 15. So again, it's possible to win from here, but it's going to be quite difficult if it does happen. So we've got eight in the ring now, so we're not going to have another entrant now until somebody is eliminated. And Pete Dunne is trying to make that somebody Jushin Liger. And it is Liger gets thrown over the top row by Pete Dunne. I was so happy when Pete Dunne was involved in the Rumble. I thought that was so cool when that happened. Roderick Strong now with Tyler Breeze. And Pete Dunne is helping Strong. And there goes Breeze over the top. My lights come on outside. So I've got security lights fitted outside my house this today, and now they keep lighting up all the time and freaking me out because I think there's someone in the garden. Uh, Mike Canellis goes over the top. He's going to try and skin the cat, but oh, Leah Rush saw it coming. Leah Rush just elbowed Canellis off the apron. You know what? I'm feeling like that could end up being a little bit of a feud there, you know. I'm just feeling that because obviously Canellis beat Rush easily in the previous episode. Now Rush getting the elimination on Canellis. I'm imagining Canellis is not going to be happy with that, so. Maybe a Rush versus Canellis match at uh, Shabby Takeover could be a thing as Pete Dunne now gets a hold of Roderick Strong on his shoulders and launches him over the top. Wow. Oh, look, there's a. What is that noise? There's a really weird vibrating noise coming from this house now. I was just saying there was too many people in the ring, now all of a sudden there's only four. Gable now looking to get Cedric Alexander Cedric's been in this match for quite some time and now he's out of this match as Pete Dunne now with Leah Rush takes him up nice into the X-Plex armbar combination as the counter counts down for our next entrant number 16 it's gonna be Rich Swan, the first of our three members of the Reborn stable of course Matt Seidel and Austin Aries will be involved in this match at some point as well. Which means that the Reborn have done pretty well in terms of number draws, haven't they really? All three are going to be in the second half of the Rumble. Has Pete done their right hand on Gable? Oh, Leo Rush versus Rich Swan would be a good match. It's a shame as Rich Swan is not a great core. Nice super kick there by Leo Rush. Well, we can squeeze Leo Rush and anything else we're going to do as well though. That's the thing. Maybe... I don't know. I, I like this Leo Rush. I really do. And oh, there goes Rich Swan eliminated by Chad Gable. And in comes another legend. It's Dean Malenko. Dean Malenko is here. Just takes Chad Gable straight up. And Malenko hoists Gable onto his shoulders. I think he was going to go for it. And elimination there by Leo Rush. I think that was Pete Dunne. Gets eliminated by Leo Rush. And Leo Rush is impressing here. In this rumble as well. Really impressive actually. Rush nap suplex on Di Malenko. As in comes Matt Seidel. The second member of the Reborn stable. Unfortunately for him. He's a uh, other member. Rich Swan was unable to stay in for long enough. To take advantage of having both of them in the ring at the same time. I'm sure Aries will be hoping to get in soon enough. When... Uh, he can work together with Seidel as Di Malenko now with Chad Gable up on the turnbuckle. Malenko looking to eliminate Gable. 
And there does go Chad Gable eliminated by Dean Malenko. As the counter starts up once again. We are looking, we must be near 20 now. Oh, nice German suplex there by Dean Malenko. Number 19 is Rob Van Dam. I've seen a few people in the comment section requesting a cameo from Rob Van Dam. And here he is. It's actually a really good call as well. This is pretty cool. I like this. But what could Rob Van Dam do? Now, in regards to matches at Shabby Takeover, or Shabby Mania even, we already know that we will have um, Eddie Guerrero versus Andrade Cien Almas in some sort of gimmick match. I'm still trying to decide what's the best one. And we'll know at the end of this one, our penciled-in main event as in comes the second half of the Tag Team Champions, Xavier Woods as Matt Seidel oh, went to close on RVD and RVD pulled the bottom ropes and Seidel is gone. And that is too bad. This reborn stable has really struggled, haven't they? Really, really struggled since coming in. Malenko now going after RVD. RVD with a big right hand in the gut and Xavier Woods just standing around doing nothing. I'm not in control of Xavier Woods. I'm not, no, he's just standing around doing nothing. As the counter comes again, as we get number 21, is going to be Travis Banks. One of the guys from NXT UK, but also I think a very good uh, potential member for this roster as well. Number 21, Travis Banks. Like I said, Travis Banks will be part of our NXT UK Universe mode, which will be coming up for you after the finish of 205 Live. Which, to be honest, is only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 videos away. And four of those videos are going to be Shabby Mania. So we're not far away now at all. Only about three weeks, three or four weeks at the most. As in comes at number 22 is Adam Cole, baby. Good old Adam Cole. It's number 22. That's still a lot of big, big names to come. And the numbers are running out. So we're going to see a lot of big names in these last eight, I think. As RVD looking to eliminate Leo Rush. Leo Rush has had a fantastic match so far. And Leo Rush is eliminated by Rob Van Dam. So, of course, if you can see anything that builds from this rumble that you think are matches that we can look to put into Shabby Mania, then let me do in the comment section down below. As I just said earlier on, Leo Rush and Mike Kanellis could be a possible match. Um, but maybe Leah Rush versus Rob Van Dam based on that elimination by RVD. Maybe he would like some uh, some retribution. Of course, Austin Aries just entered the match. I'm not quite sure what's happening with Reborn yet at this point in time, are we either? Nice big elbow drop there by Kofi Kingston. Travis Banks looking for the boot, but Adam Cole catching the leg. And we have six in the ring now. As Xavier was looking for the elimination on Dean Malenko. As the clock starts counting down. This will be for number 24, I think. As there goes Adam Cole, eliminated by Rob Van Dam. Now in comes Tommaso Ciampa. And now RVD, after eliminating Adam Cole, has gone after Austin, Austin Aries. And Austin Aries does manage to hold on just about enough. As RVD now pushing away at Aries with a boot. It's not going to be enough, though. Tommaso Ciampa going after Xavier Woods. RVD with the boots on Austin Aries once again as the clock starts up. We're going to be bringing in number 25, I think. Yes, number 25 is Mustafa Ali. Just stacking up the bodies in the corner here by the looks of it. Mustafa Ali is in the match. Straight after Rob Van Dam. Mustafa Ali versus Rob Van Dam be a cracking match as well, wouldn't it? I feel like whoever faces RVD at Shabby Mania should be in maybe like a tables match or a TLC match or... Oh, there goes Travis Banks eliminated by Austin Aries. Yeah, I feel like RVD's match should be some sort of uh, extreme rules match. There goes Austin Aries eliminated by Mustafa Ali and all three members are reborn. Again, I've had a terrible night. It's like Neville's brought these guys in to try and... Obviously, they're reborn. As there goes Dima Lowe, Dima Lenko holds on. Yeah, obviously, they're reborn and they want to sort of 
start again and show that they were not given a fair run the first time in the company. But to be honest, apart from Neville, they've all done pretty poorly. Mustafa Ali getting another elimination down the far side. Didn't quite see who it was. It's RVD. Mustafa Ali has just eliminated RVD. So yeah, keep in your mind all these potential matches we could have at Shabby Mania. Let me know what you think as Mustafa Ali eliminates Dimalenko as well. Mustafa Ali having a fantastic run in this match here. So yeah, keep in your mind of the things that have happened. Mustafa Ali has just eliminated Dimalenko. He's eliminated RVD. Leo Rush was eliminated by RVD. Leo Rush eliminated Mike Kanellis after Kanellis beat him on the last episode. So what do you think we can build to for Shabby Mania? I mean, Rush versus Kanellis seems fun, but Mustafa Ali versus RVD actually sounds like a pretty interesting match. I wouldn't be completely against that. So now we've got Tommaso Ciampa, Johnny Gargano, Xavier Woods and Mustafa Ali in the ring. The countdown is on for number 26, or will this be 27? How can I not remember these numbers? I think it's 26. It's 27. It's Hideo Itami. As there goes Tommaso Ciampa eliminated by Mustafa Ali as well. Ali has been insanely good here. He could go on and win this as Gargano is trying to eliminate... Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe yes. Yeah, he's back in. He is back in. Of course, Gargano was our first ever NXT champion in a universe mode. So he'll be hoping to finish things off in 205 Live with a belt as well, by the looks of it. Gargano now trips Xavier Woods over in a boot right in the leg. As in comes a number 28, it's Sami Zayn, who's not had the best of runs so far in this universe mode, but somebody I assume that should be in the main event picture the whole way through, but he's not had that run yet, has he? So we've got two more names left. I can think of one. One of them should be... As there goes, Xavier Woods eliminated by... Johnny Gargano, we've got four very, very strong names in the in the match right now. I'm sure if any of these four were to win this, I'd be very, very happy, man. There goes Mustafa Ali, eliminated by Sami Zayn and Hideo Itami, eliminates Johnny Gargano. So we've got final four now, then. We've got Ricochet at number 29. So Ricochet, Hideo Itami and Sami Zayn. So which one of these three men, well, four men, we've got one more to come in a couple of minutes. Which one of these four men will be going on to Shabby Mania to face off potentially against Neville? I can't think who's left. Who would be left? As Sami Zayn and Hideo Itami looking to eliminate Ricochet together. Ricochet does go over the top but holds on. And the two of them now trying to force him off of his boot and Ricochet fights like it's Finn Balor. Oh, wow. My God, this final four is insane. This final four is absolutely fantastic. Of course, one of these final four is going on to Shabby Mania to take on Neville, potentially. Unless Kyler Rise at everything's. And there goes Finn Balor, eliminated by Sami Zayn very, very quickly. Finn went for Zayn and Zayn pulled that top rope down. And again, think about what you want to see at Shabby Mania. Although I say this now, and I might end up recording the next episode before I, uh, this one's uploaded, but we'll have a look. Ricochet, wow, look at that submission. That is incredible on Sami Zayn. Of course, you can't win this by submission, but it does do damage and make it more difficult for Zayn to eliminate you. Hideo Itami now with Ricochet and... Ricochet fighting back. Big elbow to the gut of Hideo. And now Zayn and Ricochet working together on Hideo Itami. Brings him up. Oh, nice slam. It's like a reverse wheelbarrow. And then Zayn tries to show Ricochet over the top. And Ricochet looking to skin the cap. But Zayn just knocks him off. Hideo Itami versus Sami Zayn for a place in the shabby... Mania main event. Bit of a tongue twister. Well, which one of these two is going to pull it off? Sami Zayn or Hideo Itami? Zayn with a... Well, a low, it's a low halluva kick, isn't it, really? But Hideo no-sells it back up on his feet and went for the boot. And Zayn fighting back with a boot of his own. Now Zayn taking Hideo up in the shoulders. Hideo reverses it in to a reverse DDT. And now slamming a boot on the back of the arm. Hideo now with Sami Zayn. Brings him across to the ropes. 
And there goes Sami Zayn. Hideo Itami wins the match. And Hideo Itami is going on to face off against Neville in the main event of Shabby Mania for the Cruiserweight Championship. Hideo Itami is your victor. That was a very good match. I really enjoyed that match, actually. We had some really cool things. And, yeah, like I say, we'd have to, we'd have to sit back at the drawing board and sort of understand what happened and what we can build upon here. I mean... I like the idea of Leo Rush versus Mike Kanellis. I like the idea of Mustafa Ali versus RVD in some sort of extreme rules type match. I think we'll have to have a look at this. I think uh, I think there's some pretty cool stuff happening. Let me know what you want to see down in the comment section down below. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this video, please do hit a like. Of course, subscribe if you would like to see some more. I've been Shabby Gamer. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you very, very soon for our next episode of the 205 Live Universe Mode. Bye.